After Tupac left prison, he started calling himself Machiavelli, that's spelled M-A-K-A-V-E-L-I. Like Machiavelli, he had a lot of enemies. But Tupac also related to the ideas of power presented in The Prince. Tupac's Machiavellian beliefs were present in his posthumous album, The Don Killuminati, The Seven Day Theory, which he released under his new name of Machiavelli. The album has clear themes of war and ruthlessness. He directly addresses some of his music industry rivals, like Sean Puffy Combs, Biggie, Mob Deep, and other associates of Bad Boy Records. It's also known that Machiavelli believed faking one's own death was the greatest way to gain power over one's enemies. He thought that survival is based on a person's ability to determine their own destiny. If one could convince their enemies that they were gone, then they'd have the ultimate power over their own fate. They could no longer be harmed by their rivals. So if Tupac was taking Machiavelli's words literally, maybe he did fake his own death. Tupac's final album is actually what sparked most of the early theories he was still alive. Not only did the songs reference Tupac's future death, but the album art depicted an image of Tupac on the cross. As is told, Jesus Christ came back to life after three days. When Tupac died after his six-day coma, many believed he too would rise from the dead. But it wasn't just the Don Killuminati album that foreshadowed his death. His album All Eyes on Me, which came out after he adapted a Machiavellian mindset, alluded to his fate in the song Ain't Hard to Find. I heard rumors that I died, murdered in cold blood, traumatized pictures of me in my final states. You know mama cried, but that was fiction. Some coward got the story twisted. The interesting part about this section of lyrics is the final line, but that was fiction. Some coward got the story twisted. These lyrics could refer to the likelihood that his death would get twisted out of proportion. Or it could be referring to his death being fiction to begin with, meaning it's possible Tupac was never really gone. To further this theory, Suge Knight stated that during a trip to Hawaii in August of 1996, Tupac mentioned faking his own death. Tupac had little time to do things he enjoyed, and his trip to Maui reminded him what life was like away from the limelight. Maybe he came to believe that living a quiet island life was worth faking his own death for. But the most interesting piece of evidence for this theory is on the inside cover of the Don Killuminati, the Seven Day Theory album. It reads, Exit Tupac, Enter Machiavelli. <laughs> 